Hey gang, Tony here. Listen, I've still been going to yard sales and flea markets because something has broken in my brain and I can't help myself now. Uh, I found a lot of stuff the past couple of days. It's all Halloween. Everything. Except for one item, but it's still like, that one item that's not Halloween is still like fall time, so I'm counting it. So this is Halloween Comes Early to the Candy Corn Apocalypse. I know everyone else is going out to like the first opening weekend of Spirit Halloween, but man, I'll tell you, sometimes nothing beats the yard sale and the flea markets. Alright, so yesterday, no, Friday. Friday, I went out to the store, and as has been happening a lot lately, I, on the way to the store to get snacks and stuff from for movie night, I would see signs, and I stop. One of them was a bust. The second one was a funnel job. Those motherfucking funnel jobbers. Uh, which means, for those of you who are kind of new here and don't know what the hell I'm talking about, funnel job is when they put up a yard sale sign miles upon miles away from where the actual yard sale is. So you think, like, oh, it'll be down this road, but then there's another sign, which leads to another sign, which leads to another sign, which leads you to hell and back. Uh, usually, funnel jobs are also terrible. Like, you get there after driving for 20 minutes, and, like, there's nothing here. This was not worth it at all. That was not the case with this particular yard sale, so I was pretty happy that I followed it. Uh, it wasn't actually 20 minutes. maybe 15-minute drive, so it wasn't that bad. Um, what did I get there? I'll show you this little guy first. He's a little... He's a little Dracula. Well, I guess vampire, more appropriately. A little vampire. A mini, mini pail for me to go... I mean, who... You gonna go trick or treating with this thing? Get like a couple tootsie rolls in there, and that's it. You're done. No, you can't even fit a, a maybe, maybe a mini Snickers. I don't know. No markings on this. Uh, there is a label, which says that it was three for a dollar or thirty nine cents. Halloween plastic candy cup. Uh, don't know when this was made. Don't know if it's worth anything. Don't care because it cost twenty five cents or something. And it's adorable. It goes perfectly with my mini, tiny little controller. These little guys, they go... Dee, dee, dee. Uh, I can find so many tiny things. So that was, that was one thing I saw there. Um, the next item... I've seen this at, at flea markets and yard sales before, and they're always super expensive for some weird reason. Um, it's, it, it's a plastic... You know, you put the batteries in, and it lights up, the eyes on the ghost light up, and it goes like, just like that. Don't question me, just like that. It's an Avon product, though, apparently. I don't know if like it's the same Avon that I'm thinking, but it's the Avon Boo Drop In Haunted House. I love, I honestly just love the aesthetic of this thing. It, it's so kitschy. I don't know. I like it. Uh, I got it for super cheap, like a dollar, because the battery compartment was very corroded. Like, there were batteries encrusted in there, and I sort of opened it for the people at the yard sale. I was like, look at how terrible this looks. Give me a deal. And they did. Uh, but I cleaned it out. Um, so, a couple things. I can't show you it working, even though it does technically kind of work. So, after I cleaned it out, I turned it on, and it goes on, but it never stops. And it does have, like, an auto on, auto off. So there's a sensor in the mouth. The sensor's not working. Not entirely sure why. So I opened it, complete, like, all the way up to look at the wires and stuff. And as I was doing that, I the, the wire that goes to the negative terminal came off. So easy fix. I can solder that right back on, and it will be working but the sensor will still not be working. And, uh, you know, I may at some point try to diagnose why the sensor is not working and all that, but I will definitely solder the wire back on. But even if it didn't, like, work, work, it's fucking annoying as shit. I I'm going to be honest with you. Like, even if it, like, turns off after a few seconds, I still don't really want to listen to it, so I'm fine with it being not working. But there's that guy. And perhaps my favorite items... We got a kitty cat melted popcorn decoration. A kitty. 
this one had a broken ear, and I think it was this one, like the tip was sort of broken off. Easy fix, little little glue. Can't even tell that it ever was not attached because these things are sort of like all, well, melted, so it doesn't matter. I have one of these, um, and then this I've never even seen. It's like a scarecrow one, I guess. Um, so technically, I mean, I could break down the pricing, but technically for this, this, the little vampire and the do drop in haunted house, I paid ten dollars altogether. So um, however you want to break that down, but this guy is goes for like fifty dollars, and this one goes for like twenty. So that's a pretty good score, I think. I'm not selling them, I you know I'm keeping them, but. All right. Because I'm doing melted popcorn signs, I'm going to show you the one non-Halloween thing. And this was actually from... So that was everything from the yard sale I went to on Friday. Now, the rest is all flea market stuff. And this is from the flea market. And it's, it's a turkey. He's a little turkey guy. That was $5. It was from one of those booths that are always kind of a little on the more expensive side. I'm not sure what this one goes for. But again, it, you know, it's just for me to keep. I have pilgrims. I have two uh, female and male uh, melted popcorn pilgrims. So I kind of kind of needed the turkey to go with it, right? So when I put out my Thanksgiving decoration. All right. Melted popcorn decorations. I love those things. They're not they're not my favorite of the Halloween things, like decoration decorative things, but they are high up there. I think it goes like blow molds, motionettes, melted popcorn. They did have die cuts at the yard sale from Friday, but they wanted like five dollars for the small ones and ten dollars for the big ones and Frankly, like I have some Halloween die cuts, they're fine. They're in a bag in, in storage. I don't even, you know, you don't, I don't put them up. I don't really collect them, so I, unless unless there's a pile of them for like a cheap price, I usually don't buy them. What's next? Um, I have a whole box of stuff here, so I'm just trying to decide what it is I want to show you. I'll show you this. It was the first thing I got at the yard sale today. Uh, for a quarter. The Halloween Adventure. From 1997. I, it's hard for me to pass up vin retro... I don't call them vintage, but retro... Look at this. Oh, man. Cops? Is that say Cops and K-Kids? Cops and K-Kids. Uh, the date, 2007. 5807 for Olivia. This book is a gift of the Cops and Kids Literacy Program for the Girl Scouts of America. That's pretty neat. Giving old-ass books to people, though, right? Oh, man, the art in this thing, though. Come on. Can you beat that? Beautiful. That's worth framing right there. Love it. So yeah, I can't I can't help myself when it comes to these. Oh, look at the witch. There's some writing in there. Things are crossed out and stuff, but I don't care. It's not like I bought it to resell. I just want it. I'll read it. I'm going to read that. I'm going to take it out the, on Halloween night. A little, little fireside reading. And then I'll get to the good stuff. But yeah, come on. What else we got? All right. Uh, let's do... More books. Again, like 25 cents? Come on. We got the Haunted House Glow in the Dark sticker book, never used from 2000 something, I think, if I remember. This looks like it was purchased at a Target. 2002. So, I mean, at this point, it's 20 years old. Doesn't seem like. A long time ago in my in my brain, but apparently it is a good a good long while ago. So pretty cool. All the stickers are still in there. 
and you know, I guess you're supposed to like populate, you know, you populate the uh, scenes with the stickers. And I, they also had a ghost one, Ghosts Glow in the Dark sticker book. Again, probably same year. Also from Target, six dollars and twenty-five cents when it first came out. And this one says two thousand one. You know, I, yeah, first American edition, two thousand one. All right. For a second, I was thinking like maybe that's not the when. It, and this one was, so they probably had like the old one, and then the new one came out. But again, same deal. Got some really cool stickers in there, and you take the stickers and you put them on the scene. Oh, or you could put them in there, like you just put them next to their description as well, I suppose. Scary spooks and things that go bump in the night. Yeah, all right. Some little books. I mean, I'm a writer. I got to. I got to get these things. I'm going to pause here, because I always forget to do this, and we are already... I mean, there's some good stuff to show you still, so I'm hoping you guys are like, we'll sit through him talk about this other thing, because there's more stuff coming. Go to Retro Days, the YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the bottom here. We have four or five videos live now. I write them, but there's a competent host, and they edit their videos. So if you're sitting here watching my videos and you're like, number one, I fucking hate you. You suck. Number two, you didn't even edit this video. There's no lighting. You're using a webcam. What kind of jack-off are you? But the content. I like the content. Well, go to Retro Days where I write the content. So you get some of me in there. But you got a competent host and they're doing they're editing it over there. The owner and producer and editor, Anthony Great, and the host, uh, John from Gen X Grown Up. Very nice, very polished, very unlike my videos here. So I, I do hope you go check those out. We have, you know, the last one was like nostalgic telecommunication. There's one about laser guns, uh, laser tag, the like the uh, the rise of laser tag. There's one about five forgotten junk food items, and then there's a bunch. There's a whole bunch. I just wrote another one yesterday. We're going to produce one. This is going to be a sleepover one. 1980s, perfect 1980s sleepover. You want to be there. Go subscribe. All right. Back to the Halloween goodness. Ooh, Halloween. All right. How about, how about I show you, this guy had like a rat's nest of lights, uh, Halloween lights. I don't normally buy these kinds of things, but um, the one set looked really cool. They're all missing one or two of the things. I'll show you. Alright, so this is the one I wanted. Uh, it looked pretty, like, it looked older than most of the ones I see usually. A little black cat on there. Um, this light string doesn't work. Hopefully it's just a bone bulb. I haven't tried to figure that out yet. And it is unfortunately missing one of the bulb, the uh, covers, right there. But... I mean, it just was such a cool-looking set that this is mainly what I wanted. There were two other sets kind of tangled with it. I got them all for a dollar per string, so three dollars total. So we got that one. And this is a pretty, you know, you've seen these before with the skulls and the pumpkins. It is an older version of it. But again, it's also, you can see the bulbs there. It's missing a couple of them. This one's missing three. But it does light. So that's good. And the last set is this one with the, like, the eyes, different spooky eyes and stuff. And again, you know, I mean, I've seen these around. I usually pass on them, but missing a couple. But it lights. So a dollar string with some missing covers. Meh. I can probably source some stuff and kind of fix it up. Nice. This one was uh, a dollar. It's newer. I think I've seen it at CVS, maybe Target. I definitely recognize it from somewhere. Um, 
But it had the batteries and it was working, and I was like, for the price, couldn't couldn't pass it up. So grab that guy. Okay, so before I get to the last batch of items, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it was one lot. Everything I'm about to show you was ten dollars altogether. Uh, I asked the price on one item, he said five dollars. I asked the price of another item, he said take both for twelve. Then I was looking in this box of a bunch of stuff, and he was like, take the box for free if you take the other two things. I offered him ten, and I got everything for ten. All right. So I'm gonna save the best stuff for last. But I will get everything else out of the box and show you. Worst item in the box probably was this thing, which I didn't want. It's also missing the battery cover. Maybe it worked. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just it was in the box, so I just I took it with everything else. But that's probably my least favorite thing in the box. Second to next is <clears throat> I don't know, that was in the box so it kind of came along with everything else Looney Tunes stamp collection uh, alright fine next least favorite item in the box is just a pack of Halloween pencils which now that I'm looking at them no, they're probably yeah, just kind of like dollar store pencils or whatever. I do like this hang tag, though. It's not the worst in the world. But the pencils themselves, you could kind of tell are newer. Yeah, whatever. Everything else in the box I like. Starting with a rubber snake. I like it. And a little mini pumpkin pail to go with my Dracula. Or my van I have a few of these little guys. I mean, you find them all the time at, at the yard sales. People have, you know, they're cheapo, like, dollar store things. Got another book. This one is Jack-O-Lantern Scary Halloween. Um, a golden super-shaped book. This is newer, I think. Maybe not. Oh, well. This is not nearly as new as I thought it was. This is from 1993. Pretty cool. Another, another one to add to the old collection of Halloween children's books. Um, all right. We got three packs of Ambassador Hallmark uh, pumpkin napkins sealed. I don't know when these are from either, but given the the age of most of the stuff and just the look at these, they look pretty. They look pretty good. Uh, well, dollar nineteen a pack. When would that be from? Dollar nineteen. Two of those. Three of those. I mean, I don't really care when they're from. They're just, they look cool. I like them. No dates on these. I mean, I guess there wouldn't be. They're just napkins. <laughs> uh, no idea. Then we got uh, some pumpkin plates, also sealed. Also Ambassador, so probably purchased along with the napkins. Uh, and just never used. And... Still no dates, so I don't know. That doesn't look super old. Maybe 90s? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe 90s. And then we got this, which I find very interesting. I didn't have a chance to look at carefully. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on in there. But it is... It's a little zipper bag. And there's... A, it says Halloween Pack. Um, white, black, tangerine, set 20 rectangles, craft 100, yeah, I'm not entirely sure, I guess it's they're like crafting materials for Halloween in there, um, 
Yeah, it's just a bunch of random stuff. There's like some Halloween stickers and like crepe paper leaves and some like pumpkins. Is it? There's more sticker. It looks like someone did definitely used part of this because they just cut stickers in there. Um, yeah, a bunch of just this little, little like crafty looking felt pumpkin. Pretty neat. Um, again, like I didn't, I didn't buy this per se. That's pretty awesome. Smart sticks. See, like, I don't know if everything in here was originally in here, or if someone, like, bought the thing and then started putting random craft things in there, or what the deal is, but, I mean, I basically look at it like that box was a bunch of free extra stuff that came with the two things I actually purchased, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. Um, that was, that was the last of the freebie items in the box. And now, for the, the big items, I got myself a little Empire Ball Mold. It is missing the green stem part that would go in here, which bothers me, but, I mean, I, I could always do something about that. Uh, it is an Empire, hey, you're not going to be able to see, but down here is, it says Empire. Um doesn't have the string, but it does have the plug, and the thing you hear rattling around is the bulb fell in there, so I gotta fish that out, but, you know, pretty, pretty nice, not the best in the world, it's got some, needs some work, maybe, and, finally, the, the main item that I asked about, uh, that got me all this other stuff, was... <laughs> Motionette! Yay! Got a little witchy motion Motionette Halloween figure in the box. Halloween. I think I have this one. I can't remember if it works or not, but I definitely have... I'm almost positive I have this box. Um, it may have actually been the first Motionette I ever purchased was this particular model. I haven't tested her yet, so why don't we do that on, live on camera? It, this one also needs some work, so the hat is has been com has come unglued. Um, I do need to fix that. So the that part I need to get that kind of glued back down. And this was sort of like just in the box, and I think it goes around her neck somehow. But I'm not 100% sure. I'm partly positive. I, I think that the broomstick handle has broken off. But it might also sp it might also just be that short. They are sometimes. I have to double check that. I'm not sure. Um, and it actually I I don't think I have this with my other one. But it actually has this tiny little. It doesn't look like anything. It looks like an egg, but it's this plastic. It's supposed to be a skull, I think, that goes on her neck because it's in the picture, on the on the box. It has indentations where the face should be. But it doesn't really... can't really tell. But I think that, like, at some point hung off of the red sash around her neck. So, there's the battery compartment. Let's check it out. Her hat fell off. <laughs> I'm saying we're going to check this. I don't even know if my batteries are dead or not, so I don't know how accurate of a test this is going to be. But we'll give it a shot. Let me get her poor hat back on because she looks terrible without it. And where is the switch? All right. Well, it lights up. It's not moving. And I don't hear any sound. I don't know if there is a volume knob. 
So it seems like it needs some work. Unless the batteries are so dead that it's not powering it properly. Oh! This one might not move, actually. Now that I'm kind of feeling around in there. Um... I'm not entirely sh Does it say on the box if these move? It should move, right? They usually do. Electronic eerie sound and blinking lights. Yeah, body turns from side to side. Coordinated head and arm. Okay, so the gears... That's usually the problem with these things is that the gears get all jammed up in there or something. And they don't want... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it should move. The arms don't move. That's what I was checking. So... That ha that's like every one of these little ones that I get. They always have the, those issues. Let's see if I shake it around a little bit. If we get her moving. Sometimes they're just a little jammed, you know? I don't want to rat, you know. I don't want to mess with it too much, but let's see. Give it one more shot. <laughs> Alright, so a little something for me to work on. That's, I honestly expected it because the big ones that you plug in, nine times out of ten, they work. The little guys that are battery operated, nine times out of ten, they don't work. They're just not as quality, they don't, they're not made with the same quality. Alright, well, I have been talking for a very long time. I kind of want to eat something, so thank you for watching. Halloween comes early to the Candy Corn Apocalypse. Breathe deep at the night, and I will maybe see you next week with more stuff. We'll see how it goes. All right, everybody. Check out Retro Days.